well. We are excited to welcome you to Saturday morning. Each week, we're diving into different business topics and chatting with boss babes who are leveling up. But first, let me welcome my amazing co-hosts, Stitches and Tracy Capoli. Welcome, ladies. Hello. 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 We're, we are good. We are fabulous. And you guys, ladies, you look fantastic. Happy Women's yes, Day. Nice. So this is it. you know that it is officially spring, right? So, which means, dum dum da dum 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 da dum, we are <laughs> also in wedding season, right? Mm. But truth is, um, I think you ladies might agree with me. You know, marriages have evolved throughout the years, and with forty-four percent, I don't know if you know this, but forty-four percent of marriages today end in divorce. So, mm. numps, post numps, different type of numps are now becoming a uh, commonplace. I um, mean, I know both of you are currently married and will remain married. Hello, we're keeping that. Uh, <laughs> but tell me, how do you ladies feel about that? Pre-numps, post-numps, are you for it? Numps, I don't know. I, I'm a nup supporter. <laughs> Support your nups. You know, I mean, I think everyone's different, right? But uh, the truth is I didn't get married until I was 40 and you know, I think, I think it's a good thing to do, protecting yourself, protecting your business that you've spent years, you know, growing and developing, um, you know, for my husband, you know, had had a career. And I think it's just really, to me, it's like a statement, like we're in it for the right reasons. We're in it because we want to build this partnership together and we love each other. And, you know, I think it's also, it's important to, to protect your assets, right? Mm. I, you know, I have two, two feelings about this. I'm an, look, I'm a nup supporter too. And I think it's a great idea to have these conversations when you're in love, right? Yeah. <laughs> because if you look that, that's when we can be fair and look at a situation, what feels, you know, reasonable versus, you know, in a divorce court. And by the way, I am divorced. I joke, I'm on my second marriage. I joke that George Clooney is my third husband, but, <laughs> um, but uh, I feel as if too, there's also a great, if you feel not inclined, that's also great. You know, you can feel like, you know, we're in this and we're going to figure it out. And that is, if there ever is an exit, it's going to be hard for you, mate. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let it be so easy. And so I feel it's, it's deeply personal. So it's right if you want it and also right if you don't want it. Oh, I love this lady. So our next guest went from designer to entrepreneur. Daniela Uribe is up next to talk business. So come right back. Marketing for local businesses is critical, but it can be pretty confusing. At Vivio, we work with you to understand your business and individual marketing needs to tailor a custom design solution so you can focus on what you do best, running your business. Want to learn more about Vivio's digital marketing services? Find us online at vivio.net forward slash Natalie. Welcome back to The Connect Show on Fox. Our next guest studied at the London College of Fashion, and she's designing amazing footwear for women, which we love. Welcome, Daniela. We're so excited to have you with us on the show. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm very excited to be here and have this opportunity. Uh, we are so excited to have you here. So, Daniela, tell us how you got into footwear design. Well, I always loved fashion, I always did. But to be honest, I never, when I graduated high school, I never knew you could do a full degree in footwear. So I decided I was gonna do fashion design and I wanted to go to Europe for it. Cause for me, Europe is like, for fashion is just a place to be. So I decided into London after research and knowing that London was a really good place to start. And when I got to London and I started my fashion design degree, the first year I realized that there was another degree that was footwear and we were able to have like a little semester on footwear and I absolutely fell in love and it was a four-year degree of just learning all about shoes how to make them everything and I just fell in love with it and I decided to switch and I went into a BA for footwear design and development in London. Well Daniela if you ever need feet to sh you know, showcase your shoes. We're here. Nine, <laughs> seven, you know. We got yeah. Yeah. 
Well, the lunch is going to be in August, and <laughs> all of you have to come. You'll be invited, and the footwear you love. They're amazing shoes. And awesome. extremely comfortable, and I promise you that. So you obviously are a wealth of knowledge, and you have so much going on right now. Um, what is up next for you? Anything that you haven't told us already? And where can we follow along with you and keep up with all the amazing things that you're doing, Daniela? Yes. Yeah, so for Infrequently Found, which is a fashion store that is now life, you can all go into the website, which would be www.infrequentlyfound.com. And our Instagram, you can actually see it over here on the screen. It is Infrequently Found. And there, what's up next is that we're going to come, we're going to have more designers. And we're also working on doing a customized section where you can have your designs made how you imagine them. So we're working on that. So that's going to come. I think now the consumer is really appreciating having something that's just theirs. And that's what Infrequently Found is about, is giving you something that's truly not, you can't find it everywhere. So we're going to, we're working on that. That's going to be very exciting. And for the shoes, obviously, the big launch of my brand, which is in August, I'm going to do an in-person event in Miami. So if anybody's in Miami, um, be ready for it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Daniela, you are a doll, and we hope to see you in August. Congratulations on everything that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm ready for a live event, Daniela. Yeah. I'm ready. Amen. <laughs> and don't move. Coming up next, how to operate in a simpler, more abundant manner. But before we get there, let's sit at the table with Tommy Vincent. You're at the table with Tommy Vincent, where there is always a seat with your name on it. If you were with us last week, you received your hard work for putting your line of demarcation in the sand to ensure that you will be the CEO of you. Moving forward into this week, we are going to get started in working on this week's hard work from the You Will, and that's Y-O-U-W-I-L-L. -L. This week, our focus is I will be authentically me. Now, on episode eight of Stay A While podcast, finding your voice the journey of appreciating who you are with my special guest, Mahogany Brown. We deal with that a lot. So while you've had this quick bite of soul food today, I want to implore you to make sure you go deeper so that you can unearth your authentic self. Your hard work for this week is going for you to be able to determine an, an action that will cause you to embrace and to reveal the authenticity of who you are. Who are you really? Now, I wanna thank you so much for joining me at this virtual table today. And make sure that you follow along with Stay A While Podcast on Apple Podcasts and anywhere that you listen to your podcast. And you can also follow along with us on Instagram at Stay A While Show. Now, remember, Life happens at the table. So please meet me there. I look forward to speaking with you next week. Welcome back to the show. Our next guest loves teaching business owners how to operate in a simpler and more abundant manner. Welcome, Danielle Kaufman. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, Danielle. Well, we're so happy to have you here. So you've been working in e-commerce and digital marketing for the past 10 years, but your journey didn't start here. So can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Yes. So the short answer is a lot of trial and error. <laughs> I wasn't one of those kids that knew they wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer in kindergarten. I was never like a school person. So I sort of went the, the typical path and just got a degree because it was important to my parents. Um, and during college, I had an opportunity to work at a successful e-commerce company. And that later developed into me going off on my own with some partners and building a lucrative e-commerce business on our own. Um, for a few reasons, I ended up selling my shares after a few years and doing um, what I'm doing now. And so 
really it was because my gut was telling me I could offer my services sort of um, on, a, on a wider uh, level and reach more people. Um, so my partners at the time were sort of tech people and I'm definitely not. So I spent a lot of time on the front end of our business, sort of analyzing what our customers saw and how that translated into more conversions. And so I realized that, um, you know, I, I consider what I wanted to do next. And I realized that that work translated into multiple industries. And it seemed like an area that was overlooked by business owners. So that's kind of how I got into what I do now. Danielle, you already use this word, your gut told you, right? So I, I lean into this so strongly. I know this is where the answers are. How do, what role does intuition play in mm. your decision making as a leader, as an entrepreneur? So I'm learning that it's the most important thing. And I didn't always know that if I did, I think I would have gotten to where I am a little faster, but that's okay. I think yeah. that's, that's the key really. That's whenever I'm sort of lost, I'm thinking, okay, what is my gut? What is my gut telling me? What's mm -hmm. that's, I think that's the biggest thing. So Danielle, um, I want to ask you, you're currently the managing partner at, uh, you at VUE 500, correct? Yes, VU 500. So what is next for you and for your business? That's a good question. I would love to have all the answers, but I don't know that I know exactly what's next. But I do know, I know that we're harping on this listening to your gut thing, but mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to continue doing that and, and feel feel what's right and just keep doing what I, what I love doing, which is helping people, you know, kind of coach them and get them back on, on track. So, mm, and may I add to this, you know, trust in your gut that the next steps do unfold. I think the five year plan is something of the past. Would you guys agree? I mean, 100%. If, I, if, if someone said they had a five year plan, I think I'd be shocked. I'm not sure I'd be able to like recover. I'd be like, what? <laughs> so the next step unfolds once you're tuned in. Danielle is, um, is very much tuned into what's next for her based on just what feels right, right? Our body knows yes, and nervous totally. system. So coming up, Carissa Harrison is here and she is helping you create a plan for personal and spiritual growth. So stay tuned. Stop checking your likes is the hottest must read of the moment. This is not a book about social media. It's about shaking off that need for approval and living your incredible life. It's available everywhere books are sold. Welcome back to The Connect Show, South Florida on Fox 29. Thank you so much for always joining us. So our next guest is an Enneagram coach uh, that will help you create a plan that works so well that everyone will be talking about it and seeing the results. So please help me welcome my guest, Carissa. Welcome, Carissa. <laughs> Hello, uh, thank you for being with me today. Thank you, thank you. Carissa, you're a certified Enneagram coach and a pastor, how cool is that? First, what is an Enneagram coach for those of us who don't know? Oh, I love this question. So we are essentially, you know, someone who uses the Enneagram primarily as the tool to help people understand themselves with clarity. So we really help them use the Enneagram to understand, okay, what is their Enneagram type and how is that impacting their thoughts? their feelings and their behaviors. And so instead of focusing so much on the behavior characteristics, those are just the symptoms, we wanna help them get to the root cause of what is actually driving their thoughts and their feelings and their behaviors. And so it all centers around a tool called the Enneagram, but it's a lot of personal, spiritual and professional development. But you know, working with you as a coach, what, uh, how long do people typically work with you and how does it look? Ooh, okay, so I designed what I call the Enneagram growth process, mm -hmm. and it's a three-phase approach to personal and spiritual growth. And so the first phase is six weeks, and it's a deep dive into self-awareness mm -hmm. because you can't change what you can't see about yourself. Mm -hmm. And so until you know your Enneagram type and you understand the implications of that, uh, you really are going to feel kind of stuck. Uh, you're going to keep trying to fix the symptoms, right? The perfectionism, the controlling nature, the people pleasing, the imposter syndrome, all of those are simply symptoms. And the Enneagram is going to help you identify what's the root cause of those symptoms. There's a core fear and a core desire. 
assigned to each Enneagram type. And when you can get to know that core fear and that core desire and how it's driving the thoughts and feelings and behaviors in your life, then you have some power to make incredible change. The first phase is self-awareness. The second phase is self-management. Now that we've identified how it's impacting us personally, professionally, relationally, spiritually, what are the things that we want to key into and change? And so we work together for about six more weeks on what are those things we want to manage? And then the last phase of the Enneagram growth process is social awareness. And that's where we really start to dig into, okay, now that I understand my Enneagram type, how do I begin to understand the other eight types? And how can I adapt and adjust my communication, my conflict style, my affirmation style? Uh, as a leader, how do I take responsibility for adjusting my approach to the people around me? Awesome. Amazing. Carissa, we thank you so much for joining us and delving into some of the nine types. And I guess we got to figure out which type we are, you know, <laughs> at a later time. But thank you so much again for joining us. And please follow Carissa on all social media platforms. And for all of your coaching needs, you can go to Carissa. Don't move. We'll be back. We're going to take a short break. So just go get some tea or something. And yeah, come back. Hi, I'm Christy Trimmer, president of Primetime Consulting Services. I founded my company 10 years ago with the intention of providing services and opportunities that empower, educate, and entertain women. I do that through various platforms like coaching, my television show, Women Who Lead, and of course, the books. I believe that women can have it all. I believe in the power of mindset and teaching six different angles of self-care, which I'm so passionate about. I actually wrote a book about it. So I want to talk a little bit about what that is and what the foundation of self-care means to me from a holistic perspective. I believe in helping women become strong in their faith, which is the spiritual health, their emotional and mental health, physical health, sexual health, and of course, we want some financially fit women out there. I can't wait to link arms with you incredible women and help you see what's possible for you. You are here for a reason, and God wants you to live in abundance. As always, remember, it's prime time to shine. Welcome back, everyone, to The Connect Show, South Florida on Fox 29. Thank you so much for tuning in. So our next guest is someone who helps overachievers. We can all relate to some of that to some degree. Uh, but she helps overachievers uh, and leaders and brands and celebrities who are already successful to thrive in the next level. So please help me welcome Kelly Lynn Adams. Hey, Kelly. Hi. Welcome. Thrilled you're here. Now, you started coaching in 2009. Can you tell us a bit about that journey and how you've come to become this coach for leaders and yeah, like and the work that you're doing now? Yeah, it was a very long process <laughs> and it wasn't easy. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, it just took patience and time. And for me, I started like ground root level where I was just making connections and really started with my family and friends and then started to branch out and found, right, the money was in my network. So it was just putting one foot in front of the other and just doing all of the things. You know, I was really in the beginning throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what would stick. And then also investing in my own masterminds and coaches. Um, mm -hmm. And then just over the years, I would just grow, you know, to that next level. So that's, that's how it started out. One um, sign that someone is reaching, you mentioned some before, but one or two signs that you're reaching that adrenal fatigue that we can be aware of. Yeah, so you wanna make sure like if you are tired, um, just like listen to your body. Um, a lot of people don't listen. You know, just make sure like you're getting enough rest. And then also if you find yourself in, you know, there is kind of the ebbs and flows of life, but when you're in those like really high, um, high impact times or really um, a lot of work, just make sure you're eating right, you're drinking the, the water, um, and you're celebrating, whether that's dancing, getting outside every day. So just the little things, even when you're really busy, is like so, so important. And you're worth it. These simple, they are simple, but they're also simple not to do. Yeah. Right? So everybody else's needs. So, oh, 
it's That's necessary and your podcast is necessary for everyone to listen to uh, don't forget to check out kelly lynn adams podcast it's perfectly imperfect they can find it on all podcast platforms right yes yeah. beautiful so check that out all podcast platforms perfectly imperfect with kelly lynn adams thank you so much for joining us and please do not move because coming up next um female entrepreneurs are often at a disadvantage to access and capital to grow their businesses. But Community Fund of North Miami Dade is talking money, baby, next. So don't move, we're talking moolah. to have Marcella, Linus, and Ashley Thomas with us today, sharing more all about the good stuff going on with the Community Fund of North Miami Dade. Hello and welcome to the show, ladies. Hello, Hi. ladies. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting us. Happy oh, to be here. We're so hello, happy hello. to have you. <laughs> yes. So the Community Fund of North Miami Dade's primary mission is to utilize resources derived from the public and private sectors to assist in the community. That's so important. So how did each of you get involved with this CFNMD? So, um, well, I, I work with the Community Fund for North Miami Day, CFNMD. With um, just really my, my whole job is to work with the entrepreneurs and I help them with that onboarding, helping them understand um, what options, what resources uh, are out there and how to also help them access capital. And I started working um, in this about three years ago. I've been working with small businesses and in community development for, for over 20 years now, but um, this was a great opportunity to really tap into the local needs of the local entrepreneurs. I'm so excited because you meet fantastic women mm. such as Ashley. Hello. Mm. Hello, guys. Ashley, you created the news open air market. What yes. does it consist of? And how uh, have you pivoted during the crazy last year? Yes, absolutely. So uh, thank you so much for having me here today. And so Muse Open Air Market happens down here um, in Little Haiti. Um, we have vendors, we circulate dollars. So since August 2020, during that pivot, we have about 13,000 square feet of space, um, outdoor space that we can work with. And we were able to, you know, make a pivot for businesses to actually do business in an outdoor safe space. And so from August 2020 to now, we've been able to circulate about $60,000 in local like to the local businesses just generating money back and forth together we're familiar with the uh, marketplace so thank you for all that you guys do thank the you. providing um, just amazing events for the community so thank you for that and speaking of celebrations and things for the community uh, continuing the celebration of women's history month you guys <laughs> have been celebrating women's history month with this amazing campaign called she wins we win. That is, that's yeah. okay. Absolutely. She wins, we win. She wins, we win. I like that. So <laughs> tell us a little bit more about that campaign and maybe how people can still get involved. Well, absolutely. So this all stems from the fact that what the Community Fund of North Miami Day does is to provide access to capital and to the know-how to minority and women-owned businesses. Um, so that they can grow the businesses and to their full potential. And, and the idea of She Wins, We Win is because we wanted to celebrate um, on Women's Month the importance of women-owned businesses, how much of a difference they make in our community and our economy. You know, we have millions of businesses that are owned by women that are generating, uh, I think, close to 10 million employee, employee um, jobs in the country. And they are um, run by women that generally have um, more than half of them tend to have children under 18 in their house. Mm -hmm. So when you think about she wins, we win, we're celebrating the woman that is making a difference in the community, creating jobs, that is uh, generating uh, economic development, economic progress, circulating those dollars that uh, like Ashley was saying before, that is becoming a role model for the kids 
for their children um, and is really improving the quality of life for, their, for them and their family. So if she wins, really everyone wins. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's True. what we're all about. I love that. She wins, we win. Exactly. She yes. wins, we win. Making a difference. So what do each of you ladies have coming up next and where can people find you? And also, what do women need to do to try to snag their own funding in the future? Can you give us some starting points on that? Mm. Ooh, I'll, I'll, I'll hit it real quick. So April mm -hmm. 11, um, we have a sister nonprofit, Muse Educates, and we're raising funds for the nonprofit. It's the nonprofit that owns this building, um, this space that we actually host these free and accessible events. So um, it's a ticketed event. Um, people can uh, support the fundraiser. We're looking to fund six programs, 364,000. So you said, how else can you do this? You uh, you do capital campaigns, you know, so you do fundraisers, you go out to community um, and you enjoy the tickets are $15 and people can come out and uh, experience the Muse open air market, live music, artisans, plant plant workshops, and just deliciousness right here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, if you like to drive down Palm Beach to Little Haiti, we'd love to have you uh, here as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what's coming up for me. Wonderful. Thank you, Ashley. And what about you, Marcella? Well, great. Uh, well, we have several events this coming month um, in this, in this few weeks about doing your business and how do you hear from other inspiring uh, entrepreneurs, how they've done it. Uh, but you can find all about our events and what's coming up at our website, which is cfmnd.org. Or if you can find us online um, on social media, it will be at the CFMND, um, either Instagram, or Facebook, or LinkedIn. Oh my gosh, ladies, thank you so much for being with us. I really appreciate the, the information about not being shy being determined ask for the money people want to give they want to invest and Marcel, i think that is such great advice for women so thank you so much for being with us and giving us your wisdom we will be right back Show South Florida only on Fox 29. So many great guests on today's show, am I right, ladies? I mean, so I don't know about you, but I'm feeling ready and energized to take on the rest of my weekend. And that's what I love so much about this experience the ability to hear each other's stories and learn from each guest. Is there a favorite takeaway you guys have from today? I think for me, all of the all of our ladies were amazing because they brought something mm -hmm. different. But what resonates because I'm on this path of like resting and pay attention to your body. Yeah, Ooh, I love that. I think for me, I'll take away Danielle's like the intuition in your gut. Mm -hmm. What about you, Susie? I want to take the Enneagram test. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm determined to know if I'm on that test, introvert or extrovert. I want to know. I think I'll lean E, but we will find out. We'll, we'll, we'll have to have a group test about that. Good and have a wonderful Easter weekend, ladies. Remember, she wins. We all win. We all win. win. And thank you, South Florida. If you missed an episode, make sure you binge watch all of our past shows on YouTube at Natalie's Network. Nice. Until next week, enjoy your Easter weekend. Be good to yourselves and other people. She wins. We win. We win. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now.